Flow management is the process of scheduling stations with learned flow on on any given day to reach a user specified flow rate within a given flow zone. Flow management is a flow optimizer and flow balancer that allows the controller to schedule stations on in any order in order to compress the most watering into the shortest watering window at safe velocities. Flow management does not necessarily require the use of flow sensors, but it will be much more accurate if sensors are present and configured. Flow management presumes the configuration of flow zones and learned flow that is covered in the flow monitoring setup. Review that information before attempting to configure flow management. Programs Start Times Note, the most efficient way to use flow management is to set all programs to overlap. You can even give them all the same start times. This will give the controller the most options for stations to turn on to reach the flow target. The programs will not run all at once if the flow manager is enabled. Their stations are simply eligible to run, but the controller will not exceed the flow target when flow manager is enabled. Flow operations. To enable flow management, turn the dial to the flow menu screen. Select flow operations and then check the box for enable flow management. The flow management planning screen will appear to outline the steps for successful flow management setup. That is basically the outline for this video. After reviewing the steps on the controller screen, click continue to proceed to the actual setup process. Click the back button to return to the main flow menu and then select flow zones. Flow zones. Flow management is set up by individual flow zones, so select the flow zone first. We'll start with flow zone 1. Be sure to check the box to manage flow within this flow zone. Then, we'll enter the desired optimum flow for the flow zone. This is entered in the flow target box. The flow target is a critical setting based on the diameter of the mainline pipe. Set your flow management limit with the flow zone for approximately 5 feet per second or 1.5 liters per second to maximize the life of system hardware according to industry standards. This will depend on the diameter of the mainline pipe, and there are various calculators online that make this easy. Station Setup Next, it is time to attach the individual stations to the flow zone. The Station Setup screens have two fields that are required to enable flow management. In the Flow Zone field, select the flow zone for this station. This has the effect of attaching this valve to the flow zone. Next to the flow zone assignment is a checkbox for flow priority. If the station is prioritized, it causes the flow manager to choose this station first if could select more than one station to reach the flow target. If there is capacity in the irrigation for 10 GPM or LPM and more than one station would meet that criteria, the manager will select the prioritized stations first. This has the effect of forcing the priority stations to water earlier in the schedule. This can be used to make sure the most critical irrigation gets done sooner, in case of an interruption by sensor or power failure later in the watering. Copy and paste. Since many stations will be attached to the same flow zone, you can use the copy and paste keys to attach many similar stations quickly. Assign the flow zone for the first station and click the copy key. Click Next Station, and then click Paste. Paste will only include the flow zone assignment and the priority setting if you have checked it. Be careful not to prioritize too many stations with the Paste function, or it defeats the purpose of prioritization. It is better to just copy and paste the flow zone information, then go back and prioritize selected stations later. If you are entering the flow rates by hand, it is also possible to copy and paste those rates by checking the copy flow box. This can speed up the process if you are assigning many similar types of stations. Flow rate. The flow rate is the key information the flow manager uses to determine when a station can run. It will turn on stations whose flow rates add up to the flow target. The best way to enter this data is to learn flow with an accurate flow sensor. This will fill in this information automatically for each station that is learned. If you have already done this as part of setting up flow monitoring, the learned flows will already be filled in. It is also possible to enter or edit this information by hand if you do not have a flow sensor or a particular station is difficult to learn. 
The expected flow rate can be calculated if you know the available total flow and the configuration of individual pipes, valves, sprinklers, and nozzles. There are many other factors that can affect the flow rate of a given station, such as elevation, other devices in the pipe, etc. It is definitely recommended to use learned flow from a sensor to enter the flow rates. Learn flow. Once all the stations are assigned to flow zones, it is time to learn flow if this was not already done in a flow monitoring setup. Turn to the flow menu and select learn flow. Remember that the controller will only attempt to learn flow for stations that have a run time in the programs menu. This is to avoid a very time-consuming delay that would occur if it was attempting to learn flow for stations that are not in use. You can press the key for report to verify that a flow sensor is configured and how many stations with run times have either already been learned or are about to be learned. On the report screen, you can also press the key for have flow to see how many stations have already been learned. You can also press the key for failed to see how many stations failed to learn after the controller tried to learn them. The most common causes of learning failure are either very unstable flow for hydraulic reasons or very low flow that the flow sensor cannot accurately measure. There are two ways to initiate flow learning. If you press the key for learn and confirm that you want to learn right now, the controller will begin the flow learning process immediately. The other option is to press the key for schedule and tell the controller the date and time you want the flow learning to take place. One reason for this option is because in some systems, flow can vary considerably at different times of day based on the local water supply. If you learn flow in the morning but the irrigation runs at night, the difference may cause unnecessary false alarms. Another reason is that you may not have the option of running every valve in the controller at the moment and want to schedule a more convenient time. With either method, the flow learning process will interrupt any scheduled automatic irrigation until it is completed. The controller learns flow by running one station at a time until it has completed the entire list of stations with run times. This is important to know when scheduling flow learning for a later time. This concludes the basic process of setting up and using flow management. Station Limits A final option to be aware of is the Station Limits settings on the Stations menu. The purpose of flow management is to let the controller decide which stations to run based on their learned flow to stay as close as possible to the flow target all through the irrigation schedule. It is possible to artificially limit the number of stations the controller can run at once and also limit the number of stations that can run within specified programs. This is an advanced adjustment for special reasons and these settings are not necessary for normal flow management. Technically, this can make it more difficult for the controller to optimize flow, since these settings may reduce the number of stations eligible to choose from to reach the target. However, sometimes it is preferred to disperse flow over different programs that may water different plant types. For example, you may only want a certain maximum running on sunny turf, but also need to ensure that trees or shrubs are allowed to water at the same time. To learn more, visit HunterIrrigation.com. Thank you.